This is just a little inverter load test that I'm doing. Uh, this is a test of the uh, PureSign inverter. This is a uh, one of these uh, Philips 12 watt ambient LED lamps that I'm shrouding with my hand because they're so bloody bright. Uh, so I don't so it doesn't wash out the camera. This one, the ballast bit is operating about 100 degrees Fahrenheit to 110 degrees Fahrenheit from a feel. This is in our garage, it's unheated. To give you an idea of this temperature, that shiny stuff on that beam is ice. And uh, yeah, it's bloody cold. So yeah, this is probably about the upper Temperature threshold is probably around freezing as far as using one of these otherwise I'll run too hot This is a Halco Prolum lamp uh, Yellow it's uh, about the only um, Yellow bug fluorescent lamp aside from those uh, shrouded technical consumer products ones that I found that will reliably operate on uh, square wave inverter electricity without too much buzzing, although right now it's running on a pure sign inverter. And uh, this one is a 26 watt General Electric. This one also doesn't have too much objection to running on inverter electricity, but it's running on about... The length of the extension cord is probably close to 300 feet that this is on, so the inductance of the uh, extension cable has something to do with it. Think. This is another one of these ambient LED lamps, but this one's operating in free air. This one's actually running cool to the touch, which is a good sign. But then again, windshields right now are probably in the negatives Fahrenheit, so it needs to be pretty bloody cold for these to uh, operate coolly. This is another uh, Helicraft running on the square wave inverter. This is a Do It Best branded Helicraft, but I think from the packaging it was in, it was uh, one of the uh, a General Electric uh, Chinese subsidiary, but it isn't the normal. Its shape is a bit different from the normal General Electric Helicrafts of this size, so I think it's probably a different manufacturer. This one actually will reliably operate an inverter electricity, only square wave inverter electricity. So uh, it's probably not the normal source for these uh, helicrafts. This is also running in a pure sign inverter electricity right now. This is yet another subject of the test. It's a uh, uh, helicraft. Uh, Osram Sylvania branded lamp that I got about four years ago. Uh, these tend to object to the square of electricity unless they're on a very long extension cord like this one. Right now, probably factoring the uh, cable links and everything, it's probably a good 150 feet of cable separating it from the inverter. Right now, it doesn't make any objections, but it's running on, on a pure sign inverter electricity, so that's why. This is the inverter powering the experiments. My uh, Sunforce uh, 1kVA pure sign inverter. You can see that the load is. Uh, it says it's 250 watts, but I don't know how accurate it is. I have found a trick to getting the thing to, to um, uh, display something for longer than the quarter second that it normally does. Is the th is the display changes what it displays when the button is released. So if you hold the button in. So if you release it for that setting and then hold it in, it'll keep displaying whatever the parameter it is that it's displaying. Like this is, says it's 250 watts, but I uh, don't know how accurate it is. This is a little RFI filter board that I got uh, off of, at a PT Surplus some years back. A couple of uh, receptacles there. There was more stuff there, but I took them out for other projects. See, I also got a little... Uh, 23 watt, I think, uh, yeah, 23 watt green light healer crap. This is a lamp that's normally in that top receptacle. It's just a general work light for whenever I have this inverter running, but I have it hooked up here to be part of the experiment. This is the uh, actual filter. It's that uh, big shiny thing that says Corcom on it, although it's 
kind of too blurry to see. Just a typical RFI, EMI, QRM type filter. Little terminal block that stuff originally was wired to. It's got this weird European thing where the blue is neutral, but because this thing was uh, manufactured domestically, the uh, blue was used as a hot, since that's a normal 120 volt hot color for uh, L3 of uh, 120 volt, 208 volt, three phase. And the, or, and the gray one, which would I think normally be the hot, that was used as a neutral because uh, uh, here neutral uh, gray can be a neutral, but that's only generally seen for 277 volt, 480 volt, uh, three phase, or rarely in here, but it's more common in Canada, 347 volt, 600 volt, three phase. But uh, anyway, so yeah, European wearing color codes are weird. So that's pretty much the test.